Yo, good morning everybody, good morning traders and welcome back to Daily Forex Market Analysis. Without further ado, let's just go straight into the content of this morning session. So here we are in my six pay portfolio, as you can see, USD CAD, Aussie CAD, Aussie USD, Euro Dollar, Pound Dollar, Pound Yen and a Pound Aussie, which is not one of the pairs that I trade currently, but I it is on my watch list, I just like to follow what it does because I think it's going to be a great, a great uh, pair for a trend strategy that I'm testing on the different pairs right now. So on the USD CAD, tell me, do you see anything here? Because I see nothing. There is nothing here for me. I'm not, I'm still not trading the trend strategies on this one and I don't see any possible pa patterns here. So I'm just going to skip it. So for us not to lose any time. Then we have the Aussie CAD, uh, more or less looks like the same thing. Maybe this would be something like, uh, yeah, maybe like this. If this happens, goes up and then rolls over, we might have a Garfly. But so far, yeah, nothing. Basically, this is nothing, guys, on this pair as well. So yeah, let's skip this one as well. Aussie USD, Aussie USD. What do we have here? We have um nothing, 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 nothing. If you are trading ciphers, maybe you would have a cipher. No, so no, nothing, guys. Yeah, sometimes markets are like this. Let's move forward. Euro dollar still in a trade from. Friday cipher pattern on a euro dollar hour one x to a a to b b to c c to completion right there and now we are slowly rolling over this is how it looks like on hour four looks promising but what I see here guys is a level of the inside structure where we are at right now and it can always turn over and just you know reverse back currently it's respecting it reverse back and hit our stop losses or hit our you know it, it is at a it's not a great level of structure but it is at the inside level of structure and sometimes it, price action respects those so although i'm hoping that we'll just break through it and hit my targets because there is like eight more pips left then or six more pips then i'm gonna trail my stop losses for so that i at least don't lose on this trade that's gonna be awesome Besides this and this pair, just nothing because I will hold this pair until I uh, win or until I lose. Then pound dollar, do we have something? We were taking a look at a cipher pattern from yesterday, but it was not a cipher because the, this is one, not 127, 126. And the other pattern would be a, gar a bad pattern, but the price is rolling over, not rallying up. And I don't see anything here. And then we have finally. A pound yen pair which is just yeah it's a bank holiday it was a, a American no, not bank holiday it was I think a memorial weekend or something so a lot of people are not trading in the United, United States so I'm expecting some kind of more of an action more of a movement in, in the market today and with that being said yeah that brings us to the end of this morning session uh, by now on the screen you should see a link to the ebook that I spent last two months writing it's everything I wish I knew when I was first starting trading. So I'll write it down. You just got to click on the link that you see on the screen or click on the link in the description in comment section. Follow the uh, follow the instructions and you'll get the ebook to your email. Plus you'll join our traders community for free. Nothing to sell, just a free, free guide for everybody out there. Uh, just getting back to the community and guys that's it if you like this kind of a content I do this every day when we have some kind of an action like we have a price action movement on the euro so obviously we're gonna see this even though I'm not gonna take any trades probably not gonna take any trades today because from the looks of it of the markets I don't see any opportunities if you like this kind of stuff please consider subscribing also make sure to smash that like button Click the subscribe button, share share a video, and leave a comment below uh, about what you think about today's price action. So yeah, see you soon in the afternoon session. Bye bye. Hey traders, and welcome back to the afternoon session. So as you can see from the morning session, Euro Dollar was playing with us this today. 
So what basically happened, we did roll over, and then we uh, rallied up and rolled over. Sellers tried to push the price down to hit my targets one, as you can see here on this candle, but buyers showed up and push it up. And then the sellers tried to push it down again, and then the buyers came up. And actually at this price point, at this time in the market, I actually trailed my stop losses to break even. And I was watching my profits evaporating in front of my eyes. So basically from like two pips, less than two pips to targets one, price action rallied up all 22, 23 pips. So almost like five pips to six pips to close me out for a break even position. But then it's it sellers tried to push it down again and then buyers and sellers and buyers and finally sellers won. And, did, and they did push the price action down to hit my target swan. So currently on the euro dollar, we, today we booked a profit of uh, what? What is it? 20, 28 pips, roughly 30 pips actually. Let's see the history for today. 30.7 pips. So it's good. Current month, we are down 5 euros, a little less than 5 euros. So that's good. And if we, if we finally hit targets two for the month, we will be in profit. So after an April, this month complete month would get us a little bit up so that would be very very good very very positive sign however we still have a lot to go like 25 up to 30 pips from this where we are right now besides the euro dollar uh, what was the cipher pattern we had nothing else today nothing 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 as if you remember aussie cat was nothing aussie usd was nothing and then the euro dollar was this pound dollar I was watching for an existing cipher pattern and waiting for a, a bad pattern to complete all the way up here but price action rolled over from here and then we have a pound yen basically making a new low and pulling back which makes this right here our new kill zone let's see this would be our kill zone right now so anywhere in here if we get a lower low lower close i would play for a retest of this candle right there but i didn't back test it yet so i don't know and then we have a pound Aussie, which basically I was just taking taking a look and seeing what would happen if I would took it on this double bottom. But I I will lose I will lose in this case scenario. But I'm just playing with it. Didn't still backtest it. I'm just have this pair on my radar. So with that being said, that just wraps up today's session. And that's it. I hope to record another session tomorrow. If we get some kind of an action, we will see tomorrow, obviously. Uh, this is a daily forex market analysis. If you're new to the channel, if you're new to the video, uh, please consider subscribing. Also, make sure to hit that like button, smash it, uh, share a video, comment below, tell me what you think about the analysis, tell me what you think uh, about the general outlook of the market. And yeah, that's it. Let's start a meaningful conversation. And also on the screen right now, you should see, a, a, I don't know, a link or some kind of a bundle link, bundle promotion of a free ebook, completely free ebook that I spent last few months writing, uh, where I share everything I wish I knew when I was first starting out with the Forex so that I don't waste two years of my uh, life just stumbling around trying to search the next best, best thing. So uh put that link in the browser click a li link in the comments click a link in the description follow the instructions and download the ebook and join our community i'm looking forward to meet you with that being said thank you very much for staying until the end of this video and speak to you soon thank you and bye bye